the retherm mode is what I'm going to spend a few moments teaching you about right now. Um, your appliance has this retherm mode, which basically is a pre-calculated amount of humidity, and we slow down the fan speed so that when you rethermalize things, you don't have to cover them with aluminum foil and plastic and all that. They'll rethermalize faster with the fan speed and the moisture that we put into the cavity. Okay? Now, other things that you can benefit from is it allows us to rethermalize plated meals. And that's what I want to spend a little bit of time with you today to give you an idea of maybe some new ways to do a la carte cooking, new ways to do banqueting and delivery meal system. Um, and the menu items that we cook throughout the day today, I've incorporated into some plated meals. For example, we have the filet mignon with the, uh, the squash that we pureed with the broccoli rabe and a little piece of the roasted red pepper. We have the seared salmon that we did with the boiled potatoes and the vegetable medley there. Chicken, grilled chicken with potatoes and vegetables. We took another piece of chicken and we put mushrooms on it, a little piece of prosciutto and some Swiss cheese, the grilled eggplant and rice. When we rethermalize that, all those flavors will come together and it'll be a really nice banquet plate. Of course, grilled salmon, one of the, the banqueting popular menu items. And, uh, and then I did a deluxe vegetable plate so that the people that get that plate say, wow, that was really well thought out. It has a beautiful mushroom rice, the broccoli rabe, the finger link potatoes, fresh, the fresh steamed vegetables, and then the, uh, the butternut squash puree that we put in there as well. So we took the time to cook it, blast chill it, plate it up cold, and now I'm going to rethermalize it utilizing the banquet cart. It holds about 51 meals. So you could actually put out with four carts to a meal, a banquet for 200 people with just one or two people in the kitchen. And the quality and the plate presentations that you can create are really, really exciting. So what I would like to do is I'm going to uh, put this onto the banquet tree and um, the banquet tree is all stainless steel. The other thing I see a lot of people using the banquet tree for is pre-plated desserts. And we make um, two different sizes so that you can have uh, larger spacing for the different types of dessert that you might need that might be towering a little bit, okay? So I load this up. Now you'll notice that I have all the plates on here, but I also have empty plates. What's important for you to understand I'm only doing a banquet here for probably about 40 people. And this holds 51 plates, okay? So what I wanna do is I put the other plates in because I'll rethermalize in about 10 minutes. I'll pull it out and put the thermal hood on, okay? And then I want that to sit for about 10 minutes before I deliver it. The thermal heat coming from the plates will keep my all my banquet items there, the 51 plated items, hot for about 30 minutes, okay? So I, ne I always fill the, the banquet cart completely, whether it's got food on it or not. And if you're doing a full banquet, then you don't have anything to worry about. So let me preheat this and load it into uh, the combi. I want you to see that. Okay, you've got your cold plated uh, meals all ready to go on the banquet trolley here. And uh, I've set retherm mode, 300 degrees, 10 minutes. It's already preheated, so I'm going to open the door and just load the trolley. There we go. It goes right on in. Okay, so I load it in, I lift it up, and just roll the cart out and close the door. Okay, our banquet is ready. I'm going to unload them and then put the thermal cover on them. Put it right on top of it and we'll cover it up. And the thermal cover will keep the food hot for about 30 minutes. Okay? And it's a little Velcro. Beautiful. So when it comes out for the first time, you want to let the food sit at least 10 minutes. And you've got 
25 minutes to get it to where you want to start. And you always want to unload from the bottom and work your way up to the top, which is the hottest, okay? Okay, I pulled the six different hot entrees out of the oven, and you've got to be careful. These plates get up to 300 degrees, and they, they, they keep uh, getting hot. So now I'm going to just sauce my grilled salmon with a little saffron sauce, okay? My seared salmon, I'm going to use the same saffron sauce over that. I have a white truffle demi-glace that I'm going to use for the filet mignon. Screaming hot. And I'm also going to use it for the, what I call chicken savoyard, which is the chicken, mushroom duxelle, ham, and Swiss cheese. And then for my grilled chicken, I have a hot uh, balsamic glaze that I'm just going to drizzle over the top. And you can see, the vegetarian plate really doesn't need anything. You can see beautiful, really hot plates uh, ready to go and definitely beautiful and arranged.